Yo, what's good? It's Soul Entertainment TV, and I'm 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 here doing kind of a weird uh, video, something that I um, expected for a long time, um, and something that I have addressed since receiving a certain message that I got from a Dead Frontier moderator. Yes, I was addressed. Uh, by a Dead Frontier moderator and for those of you who probably know what it is about um, if a moderator is messaging me uh, for some reason um, it is for the hack video that I made uh, two months ago um, before we get into that which is from Silent Killer um, I want to talk about this character right here Royal Wolf um, he is the guy, I know you've been talking, you know, you guys have heard me talk about, um, I want to do a road to 325. I want to do a road to 325, but I don't know if I can, because I know one of my subscribers does a road to 325. And I feel like now that I know that he does, I don't, I said I didn't want to steal your mojo. And I asked him if it was cool for me to, um to make a road to 325 he said bro don't even worry go for it it's dead frontier community we're all friendly here um so big shout out to him go over to royal wolf's most recent video and comment uh that i sent you and give him my warmest regards in terms of his content and his channel because i you know i have subscribed to him and i've been watching his content and i personally do believe it is good content um good shit you're making over there he said and by the way keep up the good work man good vid you upload same to you um i hope that the 2020 year is very good to you um, as well as all of my subscribers. Um, so shout out to him. Like I said, go to his most recent video. Tell him I sent you. And tell him that, you know, keep up the good work. Um, because Dead Frontier is kind of a niche. And it doesn't get a lot of um, video. Like a lot of content. And I'm hoping that if we can create more Dead Frontier YouTubers who record and upload Dead Frontier. Maybe the game will, you know, eventually get bigger and bigger and bigger. Which is the hope. You know, more people playing. More more people to interact with. Um but with that being said, so I will be uh, I will be uploading uh, my road to 325 shortly whenever I can get on to that. Um, with all of that being said, um, over to the subject uh, from Silent Killer. And as far as I am concerned, this is a admin. Um, if I open up his page here. Uh, okay, so open up his page um, and it comes to... Dead Frontier moderators, and I know that these are a lot of bigger name uh, people in the game. So as far as I am concerned, he is a moderator. Now, um, he addressed me uh, and said, hello, Death From Above. Uh, for those of you who don't know, he addressed me as Death From Above because that is my in-game name. Um, he said, I happened to notice one of your videos regarding Dead Frontier and the server issues. Although there were significant issues throughout, it shouldn't have an effect on critical hit chances when using melee. Um, now, real quick, I just want to address that that's not really my problem. Um, I understand that critical hit is used for certain things. You know, you need critical hit in order to do such a thing. But I shouldn't be able to kill something in one shot and then turn around and try to kill the same thing and it takes seven or eight shots. I mean, is critical hit really doing that much for you? That it go you go from killing one thing, you know, something in one shot to having to shoot it eight times, you know. Um, and not to mention when you're running around in kind of the multiplayer mode, you could shoot an exploder, or the person you're with could shoot an exploder, and it could not explode. And then you just walk past it, and then all of a sudden it fucking flops over like a limp dick, and then it explodes all over your face meat. Um, you know, I, but they are addressing it. For those of you who have played recently, you might get the server or security error, um, from Dead Frontier. And, uh, you know, after that, you'll refresh the page and you'll get a message from Neil or the admin, um, as everybody calls him. I think that's him. Um, you know, kind of explaining why the security error is going on and, and, and whatnot that they're trying to. Uh, fix some problems so you might get you know you might have some problems 
you know, further on for, you know, the next couple of days or so. But he continues on saying, if you already know this information, then I apologize. I just want you to be able to enjoy the bloody machete to its fullest extent, which requires requires a critical hit of 80, critical hit value of 80. He said, I also happened to look back and see that you had published a video explaining how to use Cheat Engine on Dead Frontier. And while you did say in the video, if I recall correctly, to not use cheats, there are people who will ignore that and use your video as a way to cheat the game. This I am aware of. Um, you know, there's, you know, even though I stated, you know, don't use the cheats, obviously there's going to be people that are like, oh, I'm going to use these. And I want to address two things about that right now. Um, the cheat no longer works. Um... It, it doesn't work, so it's kind of useless. Uh, you cannot use it. Um, I have taken it away from the public viewing, um, as you know, and I'll explain why further into this message. I have taken it away from public viewing. It no longer works, and to be honest, guys, don't hack. You don't need to hack the game. Um, you'll get a lot more fun out of it than hacking the game. You know, it might seem cool that you can't get hit or, you know, you don't have any problems. But part of the shenanigans of playing the game is dying and getting hit and having troubles. So that way when you go looting and you find that iron sight or that bioreactive or, you know, a fucking Greyhawk, it just makes it that much better to find. Um, so do not hack. I have taken it. I have taken it. I've taken it. For, uh, you know, away from public viewing. Um, he said, I also saw uh, the other videos of bullet count against bosses, and I can't recall if you displayed Cheat Engine there, uh, but if not, then I assume it is fine since you were already banned for the duration of the video, so we can let that slide. Now, that is exactly why I stood still. I stood, and I said that in, in the videos that I did. I stood still so that way I could be banned. I want it to get banned because I I personally was not using that uh, you know cheat for my own personal gain. It was on an alternate account that I no longer play on. Um, uh, you know it it just I, I basically I wanted to get banned. That's why I stood still because for those of you who don't know and for those of you who don't cheat, don't stand still for too long. Like if you're behind a wall killing something. Don't stand still for too long, because as far as I'm concerned, that can get you banned, even if you are not cheating. And then you'll have to, like, put a support ticket in, and, you know, you know, it could just be a whole big hassle. So stay on the move. Even if it's just a little bit, stay on the move. Stay up, brother. Um, except we let that slide. All I ask is that you remove the cheat engine working hack video, or at least set it to private so that others aren't promoted to cheat the game. Already done. Um, I have read this message. Uh, before I made this video and it was you know since it was so respectable and it wasn't him trying to kind of force me you know I, 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 I it was going to be taken down regardless because it it no longer works but um it the, you know the fact that he wasn't demanding anything and he actually goes into further you know further into saying what I'm going to say but the fact that he wasn't demanding anything it was down to earth it was cool you know it was chilling um I respect that, you know, so as soon as I read it, I took it down, uh, he said, I'm aware other channels do this, and there's nothing we can really do to stop it, but I figured I'd take the time and have a talk with you about yours, understandable, um, you know, I do show a lot of response to things that I get, and, um, you know, the, I guess this is kind of the little talk that we're having, you know, I might message him back, um, but, um, if you see a video on hacking and you plan on using it for your own personal gain, just don't, just don't, uh, you know, it, again, like I said, you'll get a lot more fun out of the game if you just play it. He said, business aside, I do wish you luck with your videos and by no means is this a message meant to discourage your videos. I personally think it's good to have people put out content for the game as it pretty as it's pretty limited in who uploads these days. As long as the cheat engine video is uh, addressed, or the cheat engine issue is addressed, I'd appreciate it as I do watch some of your videos. That's pretty cool. 
I have to assume if he watches some of my videos, he's probably watching this one. So, hi, how are you? Um, everything has been taken care of. I will not be posting another video about it. I will not be uh, promoting any channels that have anything to do with hacking the game. And I know that sounds weird for me, you know, because I made the video. But like I said, you know, it, it just, it seemed different at the time to me. And it, well, what the fuck was I going to say? It, it, uh... I expected a lot more backlash as it was. I actually expected to get banned. You know, that was the 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 risk that I was taking. Um, I was expecting to get banned. I was expecting people to comment pretty fragrantly um, about how much they disliked the video. And when it didn't happen, I was actually kind of surprised. But it's all taken care of, all taken down. Nobody will ever see it again. And nobody, I will not be promoting any videos that promote um, hacking. He said, I think it's important for staff to keep an eye on people and encourage them to keep doing it. Community interaction is important. I know a lot about that because I do um, very often interact with my community. Um, you know, the 185 subscribers that I have, anybody that wants to talk or I try my best to like and respond to comments um, in any way I can. So I definitely understand that. He says, sorry for the wall of text and the possible scare. It's all good. Don't worry about it. Um, as far as I'm aware, you play fairly on your main account, and that's good. That, as you guys know, I definitely play pretty fairly on my main account, and I'm definitely pretty fucking trash. Um, but uh, keep up the good slash comical videos. You seem like a down-to-earth person, and that's why I'm personally messaging you instead of flat-out demanding anything. Like I said... You know, I, I respected the fact that he wasn't demanding things um, and he just kind of, you know, left it down to earth as he said. You know, I am a very down to earth person, or at least I like to think. Um, and I like to think that most of the Dead Frontier moderators and just most of the Dead Frontier community in and of itself is very down to earth, very chill um, kind of people that, you know, you m would like to talk to. Uh he said, I hope you have a nice day. It's up to you if you want to address this message in a video or not. Again, hello. Um, he said, either way is fine as long as you aren't flaming me to hell and back. Take care, silent. If you need anything or just want to talk to someone, PM me. Um, no, I'm not going to flame you, man. You know, if anything, uh, this was probably the best response I could have gotten um, and that I definitely expected because I expected it to be you know like you're getting fucking banned kaput um, so you know I'm not going to flame you I'm not going to disrespect you because you came at me very respectfully um, and that's really mostly just what I asked for in life if you want respect you got to give it but it kind of goes both ways you know if I want respect I have to give it as well so um, I hope you have a nice day as well. This will probably be going up um, just before January 1st, actually. So, Happy New Year's to all of my subscribers. Happy New Year's to you, Silent Killer. Um, I hope 2020 brings you and your family and everyone you know great luck, great success. Um, again, thank you for the down-to-earth kind of message. Just chill as fuck. Um, I really appreciated it. Um, it was definitely better than just flat-out getting banned. Um... So, but with all that being said, shout out to Silent Killer for the cool message. Shout out to Royal Wolf. Anybody who has made it this far, go check him out. Um, he comments on my videos all the time. And if I remember, I will try to put a link to his channel in the description. Um, and, uh, you know, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, hit the like button, subscribe button, hit the share button. Definitely leave a comment, positive or negative, or doesn't bother me. I just want to see some feedback. Um, if you enjoyed that much and you want your 2020 to be great, you want my 2020 to be great, you want everybody's 2020 to be great, um, be sure to definitely turn on and turn on post notifications so we can notify every time I upload a video because you're not going to miss what is next. Thank you guys so much for watching.